and welcome. I'm Ross. I'm Dan. I'm Dom. What's this you're saying? This is a very short, very snippet-sized, almost toilet break length episode of See If It Sticks, where we take one problem and we very quickly smash it out. And today's problem is shower curtains. You know, in modern society, we live with all this technology, and I can't walk past a fucking shower curtain without a fucking thing sticking to my ass, and it makes me feel dirty. It's basically rape. It is. Shower I- curtain rape. <laughs> I need to get back in the shower, have another shower, and then it happens again. Makes so, you feel dirty. I've got one right off the bat here. Yep. You know these, like, new hand dryers, like the Dyson Air Blades? Oh, yes. A blade of air coming down the side of the shower, keep, which will keep the water in. Oh, I've seen someone with an umbrella that does that. Really? Online somewhere, that it blows air out, so they can have this little, it's like a stick with a thing on the top, and it just blows the, the rain around them. Like that. That's what, oh, I, that's that's what, what I'm proposing. Like, a blade of air coming down... Angles slightly towards the bath, so when water splashes out, it gets blown straight into the bath. I like that, and then I can walk under it when I'm done. You know that? Yeah. St- oh, sorry. sorry. I got one. You know that stuff old people spray on their sofa that makes it all plasticky. Yeah. And not and like everything comes off it. Yeah. Just Scotch guard your shower curtain. Yeah. Would that? Do you reckon that still work? Do you reckon the Scotch guard would just stick to you? Uh, no, because the Scotch Guard's supposed to like make it like water to run off it, so it doesn't get into the fibres. Yeah, the, really the shower just... curtain's still going to touch you, though, isn't it? Yeah, but it's just going to go. It's my not going to stick to you. My oh. problem with the shower curtain is this: it's coldness. I don't want it anywhere near me. I feel it's... yeah. It feel like you're being attacked by a squid. It feels like shame, Dom. Is what it feels like. <laughs> shame, <laughs> especially when you're in a hotel and you know that someone else's ass has touched that as well. Oh. Oh, you feel like it's got verrucas on it, even though people don't put their feet on it. You kind of feel like you're already going to get one on your back or something. There is a solution already made: uh, glass. Obviously, a lot of showers have glass sides, but that's yeah. really annoying to clean. Yeah, but really my one is clean. mine's a hybrid. I've got glass down a bit, and then because. You don't want the toilet to get splashed. It's part adamantium. Yeah, we've got, we've got, we've got a curtain. But the way, what about Batman's cape technology, where it goes, you know, rigid? Right. Maybe we could have this so we, as I walk past it, it kind of moves out of my way. So it, so it's sort of like at the top, it, it comes down, and then it maybe like sort of goes out like the side of one of those camper vans. I think it should just know where I am and make a bulge where I am away from Smart me. Smart material. Yeah. Well, you know that would that would kind of make sense as well because then when you um, turn the current off, it would flap in and all the, the puddle of water that it could be collecting in it would flow into the bath. That's it. Yeah, that's quite good, actually. We like this. Is that actually a real thing, though? Can we use that? Is, or we've got to invent it's not that? actually a real thing, I don't oh, think. We're going to have to invent it? it. But as a cheap solution, what you could do is you should get a really, really exceptionally long shower curtain, gaffer tape the bottom of it to the bath, I like and then it. poke it out. Very studenty. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> or you could like you could put sticks in there to keep, it, job. <laughs> yeah. to keep it together. You know, you can fix anything with duct tape. There must be technology around that makes things. You know the way that the the shower curtain kind of goes and just like wraps itself yeah. around you. It doesn't just touch you. It goes and then wraps itself. Around. You have to peel it off yourself. Like an angry ghost. Yeah, there must be. <laughs> <laughs> there, there must be some technology that would make it repel from whatever your skin is made of. Like some sort of stack, static charge. Like an anti-magnet type, you know. Anti-magnet. You know, like you know the way you hold a magnet positive against positive and it kind of pushes it away oh, from okay. itself. Oh, okay, so we're inventing charges now. <laughs> An anti-magnetism <laughs> with the power of anti like <laughs> Turn into a new super villain. Copyright, see if it sticks. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, this cape would just be a shower curtain that won't stick to it. <laughs> no, no capes. <laughs> no capes. Uh, uh, yeah, so I'm saying... What did I say? Angry ghost. I, 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 <laughs> <laughs> static electricity. Some sort of, like, you could wear, like, some sort of thing that produces static electricity comes off you that will push, like, fibres and things like that away from you. But uh, surely wearing something in the shower would defeat the point of being, you know, cleaning mm. yourself. Okay, and so that implant. Thing, that thing might stick to you. Implants. I've got another <laughs> alternative. <laughs> I've got another alternative here. The whole point of the shower curtain is so that the rest of the bathroom doesn't get wet, right? Yep. You know you can get that spray that makes um, makes things waterproof or water-resistant, re- repellent, whatever. You mean the spray that I was talking about? Yeah. Right. Cover the rest of the bathroom in it, and then you won't need a shower curtain. <laughs> so you walk into the bathroom and slip on your ass. <laughs> <laughs> what a white clean Boom. bathroom. I like it. And then you can just hose the whole thing down when you're done. Yeah, absolutely. And then there'll just be a big plug in the middle. That's called a wet room. Well, yeah, that is, yeah, that's actually a wet room. thing. That is what room. I do have. But then the toilet gets wet. And then you'd sit on the toilet, and then that would you slip off that. 
Yeah. Take a hair drive to the toilet. I've got a little bit of a fear of having a large plug in the middle of a bathroom because if, um, like, you know, years of watching <laughs> cartoons has taught me anything, that a large plug anywhere is bad news. I agree. That means <laughs> we've got 30 seconds left, Dom. <laughs> 30 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> Ross is just doing this... Arcane what handsome. do you think that means? Uh, that means okay three minutes. Actually, now it's that, Dom. Oh, that's right, that's okay. so we're going to wrap it up. There are some solutions to your shower sticking problems. And uh, you'll catch the full episode in a couple of days. Yes. See you yeah. then. Go to uh, stickitpod.com. See you later. I've been Ross. I've been Dan. I've been Dumb. See <laughs> <laughs>